video for chapter 2.2 v-slide plate our units are going to be in inches so again you know you guys know how to do that go here and make sure you're in inches and also format dimension style modifier you should know that by now and what we're looking at here is basically how you're going to start this V. You're going to create five circles and I'm going to let you guys kind of look at this and um, see how I started it. I would start right here with a center mark kind of like kind of like this and you got to look at these radiuses. Um, you're going to go like circle radius come in here and again make sure you have your snap come down here right click go to settings and go to object snap and I just select all and make sure object snap is on here and hit OK that way you're snapping to these points um, and that radius is 0.875 enter and if you look the very bottom it goes down 2.75 so th the best way to do this is just use all sets 2.75 enter drop that down um, if you look right here <coughs> I can add a dimension let me do that right here dimension a linear from here to there is 1.375 and also same this is a symmetrical part so it's going to be the same on both sides so we know that this is 2.75 down and it's 1.375 over so the way you'd start this out I'll set that down 2.75 and then what I would do is just use my extend command left click right click left click come here and then offset this 1.375 enter and we have that location and we know the radius this is going to be our center and we know it's going to be 0.625 so you can offset a radius of 0.625 Okay, back with you. Let's try that again. All set. And what this is going to do, you're going to use keep using these offset commands, and it's going to give you the center lines for these circles. And then, of course, you're going to come here and trim, trim these off. And you're going to do the same thing for up here. You're going to draw. You can come up here, and the top circle is going to be, you could go ahead and draw that, which is 0.875. On both sides, there'll be another one here. And you can use the offset command, offset. 2.2 enter and I'll set this line up they're telling you from the bottom 4.7 so I'll set 4.7 there and you can extend and where these lines meet you can move this circle down so I would just use extend Go extend. For some reason that's not wanting to go. What I can do is no problem. You can just click the line, grab the grip, move it up, grab this one, move it over, and that gives you the center line. So you can just go move. Just touch the outside of the circle, grab it in the center, and move it down there. And anyway, you're going to use those type commands to get this. So get all the right diameters. 
get them the right distance apart, get your center lines, and go here, change your layers, get your dimensions on there, and, and place all these on. Next, once you get here, you're going to come here, and you got. Let me just delete this line. Come here, line, and snap the tangent here. Go back to snap the tangent there, and that'll put that line on for you. Then what you'll do, let me delete this one, just come over, go to line, snap to tangent, and you can just draw this line out further than you need it like that. Come here to your geometric constraints and hit parallel. Go to this line, this line, and it makes those two lines parallel to each other. Get that. Come up here. I'm, I'm kind of showing you two of these at one time. Draw a line. Just draw it anywhere up here. If you've got snap on, you can take that off or you can leave it on. Just draw it up there like that. Go to tangent. First, I might want to go perpendicular. Perpendicular, this line and that line. Then I'm going to use my tangent command. Click this circle and that line, and it brings it down to here. And then you'll have something that looks like this. And then use your trim command to trim everything off, and it gives you this. And you're going to do the same thing for the opposite side. So let me go back. Kind of start here. Use your offset commands. Get these circles in the right position. And you're going to verify that with dimensions. So you're going to put all these dimensions on here. And once you, it's not going to work unless you have all of this ready to go. Just like that. Come in here. Remember, go to line. Snap the tangent. Choose this circle. Snap the tangent. Choose this circle. Get this line in. Do the same thing. Go to line, snap the tangent, choose this circle, and draw that line up further than you need it. Come up here, draw a line, go perpendicular, choose this line and the line, and then go tangent, choose this circle here, and then go back up, choose that line, and it brings this line down, and trim it off like this. And again, once you get this completed, transfer all your lines up, get your top view and your right side view. I want to see how you guys do on this on your own with that. Any questions, just give me a holler.